Today we're going to talk about the basics of electrodiagnosis and neuromuscular disorders. <clears throat> Our objectives for today are to talk about the differential diagnosis for focal and generalized neuromuscular conditions, interpret the data obtained from nerve conduction studies and needle electromyography, and integrate clinical and electrodiagnostic data to determine the location and pathophysiology of a neuromuscular disorder. Along the way, hopefully there will be some clinical pearls for those of you who are practicing um, electrodiagnosis. I'm also going to talk about some of the newer anatomical terms that are, are coming into use and making their way into the software. Neuromuscular disorders. In general, when a patient presents with a neuromuscular disorder, there's three general pictures that you'll see. The first one would be a focal neuropathy. For example, a patient's complaining that their pinky goes numb. The second would be a polyneuropathy, where a patient says their toes are numb and might have a little bit of hyporeflexia in the Achilles or some numb fingers. And the final uh, condition.